Since earlier this year, Tori Spelling and her five children have been living in a stunning Woodland Hills rental home costing $15,000 a month. The spacious property spans over 3,000 square feet of space and it came fully furnished, even with a pool out back. About a year before Tori started living here, it was reported that she was splitting from her husband of 18 years, actor Dean McDermott, while at the same time dealing with toxic mold issues in her former Hidden Hills home. Tori and her kids were hopping from place to place during that hectic time, from camping trips and RVs to staying at motels. Finding this family home was perfect for Tori and her children to settle into. It's not Spelling Manor, but it'll have to do. About a year ago, Tori Spelling was seen staying at a $100 a night budget motel in Los Angeles with her five children after a mold problem forced them out of their upscale Hidden Hills rental. Shortly after, she made headlines again when she was spotted in a motorhome at an RV campground in Ventura County. These modest accommodations came during a tough time for Tori, who was dealing with her recent separation from husband of 18 years, Dean McDermott. These days, Tori and her five children have upgraded to a luxurious, fully furnished two-story contemporary home in the West San Fernando Valley. The five bedroom, three bathroom residence spans over 3,000 square feet of space and costs 15K per month to lease with an additional $7,500 security deposit. Tori's current property features a brand new pool and spa perfect for the family to enjoy in the warm LA weather. Inside the home boasts hardwood floors, a grand staircase with a glamorous chandelier, and an entertainer's dream kitchen. In the kitchen, there are two ovens, a double sinks, ample counter space and seating for 16. The house offers plenty of room for large families like Tories to spread out, complete with a garage, central air and all the necessary appliances. It's also pet friendly, allowing both cats and dogs, but it's unclear if she brought along the extensive group that she kept at her Hidden Hills home. I mean, there she had pigs, chickens, everything. Dean McDermott revealed in the past that he and Story apparently stopped sharing a bedroom due to her love for their animals, or that's what he claimed. Dean said they were sleeping in the bedroom and on the bed. There was the pig, a chicken living in the bathroom and multiple dogs. I just couldn't handle it anymore. I mean, sounds kind of fun to me, but that's just me. Anyways, the couple separated in June last year. Before moving into her current rental, Tori and her five children, Liam, Stella, Hattie, Finn, and Beau, were renting a home in Tarzana for $17,000 a month. Tori also recently opened up about her experience living in the legendary Spelling family estate known as The Manor. She said on her podcast, when I was 12, my parents purchased property that became The Manor, and it was Bing Crosby's house. Which little known fact, my mom loved Bing Crosby. She was a huge fan, so that was a fun connection. And then she tore all that down. Tori explained that before buying the property, her parents, Aaron and Candy Spelling, took her and her siblings on a tour of the estate. To Tori, the house felt straight out of a Nancy Drew mystery, and she was captivated by its unique features. Tori continued, there were hidden passageways in an underground library that you pushed on something and it went into these secret rooms. Despite Tori's enthusiasm, her parents demolished the existing house to build their own custom mansion, a project that took six years to complete. Tori officially moved in at age 17. Once finished, the sprawling estate spanned 56,000 square feet. It featured two driveways, two entrances, and around 125 rooms, according to Tori. It also included a large kitchen with an attached breakfast room, dining room, pool, jacuzzi, and a pool house equipped with a full kitchen and bath. The family had 24-hour security and live-in staff housed in their own wing on the second floor. Inside the entryway featured twin butterfly staircases, marble floors, and a floating crystal chandelier. The massive 40-foot high foyer was inspired by the O'Hara plantation from the movie Gone with the Wind, Candy's favorite film. Although the home had this grand entrance, Tori revealed that her family rarely ever used it, choosing instead to enter through the side door via a smaller driveway. One of the house's most notable features was the projection room, 
which doubled as the family's living room. This room had tiered seating with couches, perfect for hosting friends to watch movies. The screen was cleverly hidden behind a collection of Monet and Renoir paintings, which would slide down to reveal the screen. The house also had an expansive underground level filled with unique rooms. Tori explained, when you enter the house on the ground level, there's everything that you would think of on a ground level. And there is an elevator. You would take the elevator or stairs up for the bedrooms and you would take the elevator downstairs almost like going to the basement level and that's where all these unique rooms you hear about were so this lower level featured a two-lane bowling alley a small gym an arcade a bar a pool table room and a doll museum the museum housed candy's infamous collection of dolls and figurines including custom-made versions of tori and her mother oh and there was also the gift wrapping room well, Tori and her brother often used the doll room to scare their friends. They would walk into the doll room and I would be adjusting the lights and dim them perfectly and they'd be like, this is creepy. Everyone was scared and terrified, Tori recalled. My brother and I would mess with them. One of us would take you on a tour and someone would pop through the door around the back and pop out. After Aaron passed away in 2006 at the age of 83, Candy sold the house. Tori, however, didn't feel a deep connection to the property, having only lived there briefly before her career took off with Beverly Hills 90210. Tori explained, I can honestly say I have no emotional attachment to the house and I never did. I have good memories there, but my best memories with my parents were created at the other house. The house wasn't my dad's jam. He liked small and cozy, and my mom loves to decorate. Tori Spelling's home journey shows the ups and downs of her life, from growing up in the grandeur of her parents' legendary mansion, the Spelling Manor, to facing more modest and challenging living situations in recent years. Her homes have always been a significant part of her story, whether it was the 56,000 square foot estate in Homeby Hills, a temporary RV campground or her latest stylish and spacious rental home in LA. And despite any challenges, Tori's resilience and focus on her five children remain at the forefront, always striving to create a home environment that nurtures her family, even through turbulent times. That'll wrap up today's house tour. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you next time. Bye.